Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tim Power, the final year medical by chemistry and nuclear biology students from the School of Music and Biomedical Sciences and the University of Health and Allied Sciences. Today, I want us to talk about something most people know when they think about the liver. So, your liver is like a body's credit card. Everything you eat, drink, or swallow passes through it. It checks, cleans, and makes sure that your body is safe. But what happens when this music card gets involved or get poisoned? That's what we call the liver toxicity. So let me give you a simple story. Let's imagine a young guy called Kelvin. He's been having headaches, so he buys for a stand. But instead of following the dose, he takes if one weeks, then four or five will work faster. After a few days, Kelvin notices his eyes turning yellow. He feels sick all the time and his way is down. He doesn't notice it, but his liver is in trouble. The two month for a stand one he took has poisoned the liver. That's liver toxicity infection. When something that's supposed to help the body ends up damaging it. And it's not only about drugs. Let's imagine another guy called Salem. He likes to party all the time. He drinks alcohol, thinking it's a harmless alcohol. But by the time his liver starts not being fat, and before long, he's at risk of liver failure. Or let's imagine another person who takes herbal medicines. Herbal, he believes herbal medicine is so good for the other. But some of these things, especially in higher amounts, can seriously damage the liver. So you see, whether it's Kelvin with a paracetamol, salon with alcohol, or someone who misuses herbs, the liver is the one that suffers most. The scary part is the liver doesn't always complain until it's a bad effect. Symptoms like yellow eyes, dark green, and constant tiredness are usually less warnings. How can I prevent liver toxicity? We can prevent liver toxicity by one, taking medicines exactly as prescribed. Two, reducing the intake of alcohol. And three, be careful with the use of herbal medicines because natural doesn't always mean safe. So that's the story of liver toxicity. Kelvin, Southern and many others remind us that small mistakes with alcohol, drugs or herbs can harm the liver. My name is King Boma. Thanks for listening. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel because protecting your liver means protecting your life.